Hecateus of Miletus. Hecateus of Miletus, c. 550 BC, c. 476 BC, son of Hegesander, was an early Greek historian and geographer. Biography. Hailing from a very wealthy family, he lived in Miletus, then under Persian rule in the satrapy of Lydia. He was active during the time of the Greco-Persian Wars. After having travelled extensively, he settled in his native city, where he occupied a high position and devoted his time to the composition of geographical and historical works. When Aristagoras, acting tyrant of Miletus, held the council of leading Ionians at Miletus to organise a revolt against Persian rule, Hecateus tried in vain to dissuade his countrymen from the undertaking. In 494 BC, when the defeated Ionians were obliged to sue for terms, he was one of the ambassadors to the Persian satrap Otaphones, whom he persuaded to restore the constitution of the Ionic cities. Hecateus is the first known Greek historian and was one of the first classical writers to mention the Celtic and Illyrian peoples. He is known as the father of geography. Works Two works by Hecateus are renowned Pi Epsilon Rho Iotum Condaltum Con Sigma Gamma Letter 1 FC 6 Sigma Period Os Jess Journey Round the Earth or World Survey and Gamma Epsilon U Epsilon Alpha Lambda Omicron Gamma Iota Alpha Iota G Nialo J or the Letter 1 F 3 1 Sigma Tau Omicron Rho Iota Alpha Historia. However, they are only surviving fragments. Period Os Jess Period Os Jess was written in two books, the first on Europe the second on Asia, in which he included Africa. The book is a comprehensive work on geography beginning at the Straits of Gibraltar and going clockwise ending at the Atlantic coast of Morocco following the coast of the Mediterranean and Black Sea. Hecateus provides information about the people and places that would be encountered on a coastal voyage between these points, as well as the inhabitants of the various Mediterranean islands, the Scythians, Persia, India, Egypt and Nubia. Over 300 fragments of this work are preserved, mostly as citations for players' names in the work of Stephanus of Byzantium. Genealogies Hecteus, or the work, was a book on mythography in four books. Less than 40 fragments remain. He applied a more sceptical approach to the traditions of families who claimed to be descended from gods. One fragment that has survived is the opening Hecateus of Miletus thus speaks, I write what I deem true, for the stories of the Greeks are manifold and seem to me ridiculous. Herodotus Roman II, 143, tells a story of a visit by Hecateus to an Egyptian temple at Thebes. It recounts how the priest showed Herodotus a series of statues in the temple's inner sanctum, each one supposedly set up by the high priest of each generation. Hecateus, says Herodotus, had seen the same spectacle after mentioning that he traced his descent through sixteen generations from a god. The Egyptians compared his genealogy to their own, as recorded by the statues, since the generations of their high priests had numbered 345, all mortal men. They refused to believe Hecateus's claim of descent from a god. Historian James Shotwell has called this encounter with the antiquity of Egypt an influence on Hecateus's scepticism. He recognised that oral history is untrustworthy. Well, besides his written works, Hecateus is also credited with improving the map of Anaximander, which he saw as a disc encircled by Oceanus. Summary He was probably the first of the logographers to attempt a serious prose history and to employ a critical method to distinguish myth from historical fact, though he accepts Homer and other poets as trustworthy authorities. Herodotus, though he contradicts his statements at least once, is indebted to Hecateus for the concept of a prose history.